about bucket lists. Wanted to talk about bucket lists. I don't have one. Um, I think <laughs> I think bucket lists are for people who are privileged, and you can be more you can be privileged in more than one way that I'm talking about. One of those ways could be privileged <laughs> with the uh, the knowledge of a terminal illness in which you will have a finite amount of time and this is getting to somewhere else my brain is just going um, I think that that is a gift in some ways obviously not the ideal but it's interesting because I think that when you have a finite amount of time you don't focus on the things that could happen as much like on every little day I mean I think we ignore those things anyway of just like everyone has a finite amount of time and we always think it's going to be old age but that's not that's not how that works so i think if you're just like you're relieved from almost the stress of thinking it might get hit by a car today even though again i don't think we think that and you end up focusing on just like oh i've got three months to live and you might say i'm gonna make these changes immediately that i was too scared to make right it can really break the chains you've been holding yourself down with when it comes to things like self-doubt um and you can and you can do certain things and experience a certain amount of happiness that maybe you hadn't before through things like a bucket list um i also think a bucket list could be for people who are privileged as in financially because i think there's a lot of things like i really want to do that and you think about why haven't you been doing those things that are on your bucket list and sometimes it could be financial, purely. I'm just like, I want to travel, and I just don't have the money to do that. I don't have the, the money in order to take time off work or whatever, right? To get away from having to work for X amount of weeks in order to do this, this trip. Uh, so I think that's why that ends up being on a lot of people's bucket list. But I mean, I think it's silly to have a bucket list if you aren't like either of those two things, which is either terminally ill and having the privilege of the knowledge of, of your finality or privileged financially. And then, it, depending on how financially stable you are or uh, more than stable, you might just be thinking, I can just do what I want whenever I want it. Why do I need a list of things I want to do someday? So it's interesting. And I don't know, I've just never had one. It's like window shopping. I really dislike it. Unless I'm going to go back the next day or something or really soon to go get the thing, why am I window shopping? Like, it's, it's just a waste of time. Um, and I don't want to come up with some corny thing of like, well, you got to live every day like your bucket list, because you can't. I mean, a bucket list is things you want to do before you die, and that's not going to work for a lot of people right now, including me. I don't want to go to work. It's not fulfilling at all, right? Um, so why is that? That You know, that's... that's um, I lost my train of thought, but... Yeah, I, uh, I just, I, where was I? I don't even know. I was saying that, like, why have one and why, I don't know. I just, I just don't do the window shopping thing. Um, and why think about things that I don't have the capability to do right now? That almost seems like a goal list. Like, I want to be financially enough, uh, stable enough to do this, this, and this. And, like, I'm concerned with being financially stable enough to pay rent every month. That's what I would like to do. Um, <laughs> I would like to do that without concern, without worry, you know? I don't have time or the luxury of a bucket list. I don't want to waste my time. I'm sure there's people who have those those thoughts and ideas, and some people could say, well, that's that's what motivated them to get out of that situation. But again, I'm, I'm motivated by my necessities and maybe a little bit of luxury right now, things like this. This is luxury. This studio space is luxury. Um, and so... I don't know. I've just never had a desire. I've never done it. I've made lists of things that like my partner and I want to do together because we just like, oh, we got to make sure we, you know, we do some of these things. We don't want to just have ideas and then forget about them. And like, yeah, I'd really like to go on this specific hike or I really want to go to this, um, this, this venue at this location. And, but they're all attainable, you know, 
financially, it just becomes a time thing and seasons and whatever, right? And things that sometimes aren't in our control. So it's like they're, they're most of them are fairly attainable, but doesn't mean you can just do them immediately and drop everything, especially if you have to arrange care for others. So uh, in order to free yourself um, of constraints like that and, and just have the freedom to go and do the things. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious as to what motivates people to make bucket lists other than fun, other than just like entertainment and fun, because that's like a cool idea. I think it'd be a nice exercise to do, but I wouldn't document it. I wouldn't commit to it. I wouldn't write it down. I just don't, I don't know. I don't see the purpose in that or that it would give me something really. Um, yeah, again, like I think like you want to make a list of all these things you want to do in the next month because you're going to die. That makes sense. Or if you have the fine, if, if you are, if you are newly rich, <laughs> I guess, then you might write a bunch of things down that you want to do. Um, I think that would la only last a certain amount though, before you realize you can do whatever, like you, you don't have to write the list. Anyway, I don't know. That's what, those are my thoughts on bucket lists and why I don't really have them, uh, mainly because I think they're a luxury and you have to be in a privileged position one way or the other. And I'm not. And I don't think it'd be fun to do just for fun to remind myself of things that I can't do right now.